I'm 13 WMAZ meteorologist Alex Forbes here with you on this Saturday evening. You're looking at a shower just to the west of downtown Macon right now. This is the view from the Medical Center downtown 87. The current number at Middle Georgia Regional Airport with a dew point of 73. We're in the 80s for the most part area wide with a few 90s sprinkled in like in Butler and in Montezuma as well as in Cochrane and Cordial just ticking up to 90 right about now. A dew point sticky in some communities, not so sticky in other communities. Still hanging on to 60s out to the east, 75 degree dew point in Warner Robins, so extremely humid down there. Add it all together, you get these feels like temperatures in Unadilla 101, 78 in Eastman where it's rained, 99 in McRae. And the reason why Eastman is so cool is because of that shower that just rolled through Eastman. Still seeing a few in Crawford County and coming across the Monroe Bibb County line right there right around Bass Road. And that's going to be the story as we head through the night tonight. Some scattered showers will go to bed as soon as we lose the daytime heating of the day. We've got some drier air in the mid levels of the atmosphere, which has kept a cap on the activity for today and it's really going to lose its punch once it loses the heating of the day into tomorrow morning starting in the 70s for the most part area wide then by tomorrow afternoon 1 2 o'clock going to see some more scattered showers develop we could get a thunderstorm out of them but i think majority of what we're going to see tomorrow is just a heavy downpour and uh, not so much lightning and thunder across the area then once we get into tuesday we will begin to see temperatures warm up once again with more scattered showers and storms through the afternoon hours. Then as we head through the week, it's much of the same. Wednesday, here's some more rainfall across central Georgia. Thursday, once again, the European putting some more over central Georgia than the GFS, but I'm leaning towards the wetter period because our dew points are just going to be sky high across central Georgia. Then once we get into Friday, the same picture. And here's what I was talking about in terms of the dew point. So for tomorrow in the 70s, right around 70. But then once we get to Tuesday, that's when the humidity is really going to ramp up with some flow from the Atlantic Ocean, a 76 degree dew point possible here in central Georgia. So it is going to feel extremely sticky outside. We are keeping an eye on the tropics a little more so than we were the past few days. The system that's been working towards the Lesser Antilles now has a 50% chance of development as it gets closer to Puerto Rico, Hispaniola and into the Turks and Caicos. We'll take a look at models with that in just a second, but there's another area right behind it, a 40% chance of development over the next five days as it moves closer to the Lesser Antilles. But let's take a look at that first storm. Its official name is Invest 94L. Check out the spaghetti models with it. Yep, we're going to be keeping a close eye on it as we head into next weekend because some of these models bring it close to Florida. And if it gets close to Florida, it could be in the neighborhood of impacting us here in central Georgia if it were to pan out this way. So just something to keep an eye on as we head through the next few days. Lows tonight in the 70s, warming back up into the 90s tomorrow. 93 the high temperature here in Macon and Warner Robins. Tomorrow back to school for Wheeler and Telfair County. Here's your hour by hour forecast. Quickly warming up into the 90s. 93 the high with storms possible as you head home and here is your seven day forecast high temperatures 93 94 for the next seven days with a 30 to 40 percent chance of rain each day.